question that Christianity imposes, but um, I think that God exists in art and there's more spirituality in music than you can find in religion a lot of times, but I'm not one to condemn anyone's pursuit of God or, or happiness or anything like that. I just think that uh, uh, we're raised to feel very guilty for being ourselves and, and that's a, a large part of what Christianity stands for. But I think there's great and valuable things uh, in the Bible. I, if anything, Antichrist Superstar was a lot of parallels with my life with uh, someone like Lucifer. Mechanical Animals is a lot more parallels between me and Jesus Christ. So, you know, I've found a different way to relate to things. But that doesn't mean that I'm uh, going to be a born-again Christian. It just means that I can find some some valid points in your religion. I don't think that everything about it is wrong. That's been a huge mistake. For religious people to indict entertainment as being violent, it's kind of ironic because Christ was the first celebrity and all entertainment comes from religion. And my jaw being removed is to represent the silencing of, uh, you know, people with dangerous opinions. So do you see uh, that there's a parallel between, say, Jesus Christ and Marilyn Manson? Well, it was something that I wouldn't have looked at in the past. You know, I started out with Antichrist Superstar, which was just completely opposing uh, religion altogether. But now I wanted to uh, re-examine things and, and interpret them in, on my own terms and say, well, I, I can now enjoy the image of Christ or the story of Christ, but on my own terms, not the way that I was taught to. You were talking about having been fe felt as if uh, people had, in by and large, persecuted you for your music. Um, do you feel similarly, like, do you, do you ever feel kind of like a martyr as Jesus was or the pantheon of saints? Um, I mean, I look at that a lot on the record, and I try and bring up parallels to three people that I point to a lot on the album, Christ, Kennedy, and John Lennon. and. Uh, you know, I'm not going to put myself in the same ranks as any of them, but I was trying to find things in common with them, you know, maybe learn from their lives a bit on the record. You know, have we forgotten that we have a, a dead guy hanging from a tree in, in our living rooms? Uh, uh, and, and that's something that we've worshipped all our lives. If you think about the crucifix as the, the greatest mass market piece of merchandise in the history of the world. Uh, I've always found that to be kind of interesting. We haven't really sat down and talked about that on the news. Uh, it's because on this album I tried to see the story of Christ much like the one that I described to you about revolution earlier, mm -hmm. that he was someone <coughs> in, a, in many ways uh, very much like a rock star, you know, he's the first famous person, the first celebrity, yeah. the first merchandise. And the ironic part about the cover is that my point has been to say that entertainment gets blamed so much for violence and the, the image of uh, the crucifix is a very violent image. And uh, the actual way that that was created, my album cover, it was uh, a combination of a photograph of uh, Christ from a church. Mm. It's not my body, and incorporated my face into it and, and turned it into a, a sort of a Renaissance painting. And the fact that they find it to be offensive proves my point. So it's, it's quite ironic mm. how that works out. The symbolism of the jaw being removed, you know, says a lot about um, people with opinions, even Christ himself, have, have always been, you know, destroyed for, for what they have to say. Well, I think the, the important thing that Gottfried always does, at least in my interpretation and what I like to do with art, is that when you take icons of America or of Germany or of anything that's religious or political and you manipulate them into more of a fetish or into something that is very much an aesthetic. It robs it of all its political value and it becomes something that is purely art and it has no value in politics or religion except that art itself is a revolt to that. You made more money off the devil than you made off Jesus, let's face it. I don't, I don't know about that. Jesus was the first rock star. He had the first t-shirt, you know, the cross, whatever. He had a that diaper. A, he didn't have a T-shirt. No, the cross was the first I'm piece no, of I'm merchandise. I'm a theologian, but I, I know I, I know a shirtless man when I see one. The first piece uh, of merch was the cross. Come on. All right, we're going to uh, deal. 